Wait, so we're here at the IQ, and who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Nadia Ken from IQ Smart Clothing. So you make smart clothing? Yes. So right here, this is a, this is a smart? Yeah, everything here we call it smart clothing, and but this is one of the main uh, uh, projects now we are doing, it called the biomonitoring. But it's, uh, it's look like a shirt. It is. Uh, I think our main purpose, you know, we don't want to put so many uh, cables, wire, and looks like a, this is designed for Superman, but but actually we try to to, to make it is become more simple, uh, very normal and easy to wear. So here you have some examples, yeah. and right here there's a sensor, right here flexible sensor, yeah, right. right here. Uh, okay. And what so, do you connect? Okay. So uh, for example, this is a small bra. Okay, this is just a regular small bra. Yeah. And the only difference now we just put it a very soft sensor uh, on the a certain position like this and yeah. contact the skin. So uh, we because we use conductive fiber and the, uh, to, uh, to, for conductive uh, yeah. electro, then uh, the electro contact the skin. So can transfer the electricity for your skin and go through the, the snaps and go to the, the transmitter. So here's the battery and the sensor. Uh, the, uh, the, the electro. Uh, the no, 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 electronics. The electronics, yes. And, uh, we all use, okay, so we clip that here. And here, clip here. Just like a regular. Yeah. Um, okay, but I think what we, what we are doing here is we try to. Sorry. Provide a very simple uh, textile solution yeah. and to make it very easy to wear. Uh, and also, most important, this is a washable. Okay. So washable. Yeah, sure. Completely washable. And here, the man. One. Uh, where is the sensor on this one? This one here. We put it here and here. And okay. it's flexible. Uh, actually, yeah. It's, it's a, it must be flexible. Okay. So it's totally flexible. This area. Yes, right. But it's a sensor. Uh, we call it electro actually. Electro. Electro. Same thing. So we still need to to uh, transmit the data for a skin. Go to go to my textile cable. Go for the uh, transmitter. So we use the uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Then we go through the uh, apps from your uh, smartphone or, or smartwatches. So when you are doing the exercise, uh, I think the user is yeah. very easy to, to get the data. So in this, uh, how long is the battery life? What's the CPU? The uh, secret? We don't call the CPU. Actually, just uh, actually, this is a mechanical module. And uh, is it an uh, ARM CPU? Uh, it's a it's a tiny M0 class. M0, Cortex yeah. M0? Yeah, Cortex M0 class. Nice, yes. so very long battery? Yes. How long? About seven days at least. Seven days? For and the normal usage. Who are you? Uh, I'm the CEO of the company, Mark Chen. So how old is your company? Uh, about seven years seven old. Years old. Seven yeah. years? Yes. What do you do for seven years? We start from, we start from uh, okay, to, to know what, what is the main market and uh, what is the main uh, application for the, 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 the existing technology from IT. Then we bring the uh, electronic and the technology to combine with uh, my textile. All right. So because so far, no no one is available, you know, before before the list. Do you work seven years on smart closing? Yes. So sure. always work on smart closing. Your yes. Company. Yes. But actually, uh, we we not just start from okay. We start from zero for smart closing. However, we take advantage from my parent company is a thirty six years, a verti vertical textile group. We also have our affiliate company for metal fiber. So actually, we are very complete uh, yeah. supply chain internal. So what do you show here? What is this? Okay, this is what we call the stainless steel fiber. So uh, this is how it works? Okay, this is the fiber actually made in stainless steel 316L. So we, we bring the features of the, uh, uh, the, the conduct conductive and also high temperature resistant and also strong bending. So it shows here, uh, is this how it works? It this is. is a microscope? Yeah right. Yes. For example, this is a okay, this is fiber design here. Okay, and the, the yeah. yellow the yellow line is the uh, the human hair width. It's about 100 micro for the human human health width. But the my my yellow fiber is about eight to uh, twelve. It's average about 10, 10 a micro. So it's just uh, randomly dispersed, and then you can what do you, how can you measure? It doesn't mean you get a better reading on the human skin. The best possible. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. Is a material. Okay, so we cannot do this exactly just like that. We have to we can blend it with the cotton or polyester, become a cotton yarn. The yarn will be knitting or woven as the fabric. Okay, so that become another we call electro. We are not using the, the other reading metal, but use the, the textile uh, uh, electro by using this kind of thread. And so uh, with with that, yep. Uh, does it show here what what kind of sensing can you do? Uh, you can do, uh, th there's like a neon man, uh, there's a bio man, uh, what, what can you sense? So you can do heart rate, 
Okay, actually, it's really subject to what kind of uh, scenario, what kind of feature we need to go. Just as I say, uh, clothing is a form factor to embed the, the new electron sensing. So, for example, we can okay, sense it from heart rate, very fundamental for heart rate up to ECG, or the other, if we want to go for some uh, skin temperature, or uh, the other, uh, even for heart rate, in the uh, even for the uh, bl uh, blood pressure in the future, with different uh, sense sensing uh, technology. Blood pressure? Blood pressure now we go for this, but you know there's a lot of PPG. So just as I say, uh, smart clothing actually is the, the, the new platform. The new platform uh, to integrate a lot of sensors to the so, body. So what can this one do? Uh, what do you have on this one? You have a... This one actually just say, we put on one of these, we put on one lead. One is it lead. for heart rate? This one is for heart rate only. Heart rate only? Uh, but uh, if we change to another uh, device, to go for another algorithm. Just could, another... Plug in another yeah, one. Another plug in one. Uh, they can be for ECG or uh, even for HRV. They, they can to check about stress. Variable heart rate. Uh, and the ECG is like in a hospital. Uh, okay, not hospital. Hospital for something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. But okay. this is like a. So it's heart related. Everything is heart related. This is what the heart rate related for sure because heart rate is more an entry level and very fundamental. But you you go for something else, of course, you can do. What can you do? What is the other things you can do? Oh, uh, sure, we can. Uh, for the longer term, for example, if you want to measure like the EEG, like uh, you like to analyze, let's say the blood pressure, it's all possible. Depends on what type of sensor you apply to the closing and how you measure that from your body. Humidity? That's possible. Humidity. possible. Temperature. Temperature? Yes. Uh, and actually more than that, consider this. If the energy harvest technology become more mature, then instead of using battery, we can actually put the energy harvest equipment on your clothing to generate the power. How? Um, two simple examples. One is for sure solar. Put a nice. tiny solar panel on your clothing. Where you will put it? Uh, depends Up on here, you're on the back, Maybe on the back. Yes. somewhere here. Yes. Flexible solar, right? Solar, yes. yes That's right. definitely. And you work with this already? You we we already sourcing the possible vendor who are waiting to provide right size of the solar panel. Yeah. And another possibility, because the vibration, the body temperature can also use for as a source for energy harvest. So there can be vibration like in a, my watch. Yes, like but, like your. But watch. is it enough power for Cortex M Zero Plus? Probably vibration? Not. We need to redesign the. So at this point, we quite focus on the textile, but once we move the next step, we will start to redesign the device itself to work the right component vendor. That need to be the the energy consumption need to be low enough to really uh, adopt this Cortex type M0 of. Cortex M Zero Plus is the smallest one, right? Uh, I believe they're moving on. We Maybe the Cortex even better. Zero, M0 plus plus. First, yes, or something minus. like that. Cortex M0 <laughs> minus, what they would call it. Yeah. So uh, how about the temperature variability, the mm -hmm. body temperature compared to outside temperature can also generate power? Yes, that's possible as well. But how much but power is enough? That at this point, I don't even have a clue uh, how much power they can generate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, this looks great, but it looks like sports style. Yep. Are you going to put it in a polo shirt and a normal human, uh, what's it called, a daily clothes? Yeah, of course, just as I just mentioned, you know, because uh, uh, our specialty is clothing and textile. So uh, for us, you know, textile is our, uh, okay, we are very, we, ha we are handling it every day. And my parent company, we had a 40 million pieces per year. So, so for, for the clothing, it's no problem at all. But the question is how we can integrate the, the, the proper sense, uh, sensing uh, technology into the clothing, it's, all right? Uh, yeah, it's a back to your question. It's yeah. related with the usage model. Yes, right. Because like, this, uh, this couple of uh, products yeah. are for the heart rate monitor. Yeah. That's why it needs to be in a small form. But everybody yeah. needs to monitor a heart, I think. It uh, depends on when and how, right? I think all day, like, everybody. Right, ag agree with you. So we do have some idea, for example, if you do that as a polo shirt, that you probably want to wear it eight hours in your office, yeah. then that we need to change the location of the yeah. sensor, need to change the usage model, so yes, we right, probably right. need to work with device vendor on how that's going to be used. Because the clothes yeah. is the clothes, need to be very comfortable, fits yeah. wherever you want to go. Is the Bluetooth low energy, is it good? enough solution today? Oh, that's is one of the stable? choice. Yeah, it's that, always that, connecting. Or do you have or do people who yeah. buy this, they have issue connection or is it always okay? For our general customer feedback, Bluetooth is a good choice for personal use. But if you want to uh, have the connectivity goes longer range, 
for example, right now you can see some demonstration of LoRa. They try yeah. to have a longer reach. Or if you want to really long, for example, 3G or LTE, really? that potentially could be another usage model. Yeah. So and we were not going to reject any communication interface. Yeah. It really depends on your usage. And uh, some company is doing Ant Plus. Yes, uh, good choice as well. Is low power is different from Bluetooth, right? Yeah, it's different from the the main challenge is that Ant, Ant Plus itself is uh, slightly more proprietary. Not so many devices able to interact. It's not in the phone. Uh, yeah, it's not in the phone yeah. exactly. All right. So uh, how about smart pants? Well, smart pants uh, not not in my booth now. But you see, we go for different usages. I say, uh, for example, you can uh, check your EMG, the muscle, and also yeah. in the future we have the motion. So uh, it's really subject to what kind of function features uh, uh, you know our, our partner customer is looking for. So we integrate a pro another proper sensing technology and the sensor to get that. You know, so it's just say it's really sub subject to what kind uh, different kind of usage. So so what's the status for smart clothing in the in the world? Are you the best? What, who's doing smart clothing? Like a flexible sensor is not easy, right? It's. Uh, I, I think that we are somehow, as a pioneer, start to bring this uh, product to the world as a real clothes. That we hope that many people start to enjoy smart clothing. From there, we really need more partners bringing the new sensors. And you are absolutely right. We need soft, flexible sensor or component into the clothing. So the people are willing to wear them and very comfortable. And stylish? Yes. yes. Exactly nice style. Stylish. You already have nice style clothes. Yeah, we say Your parent company okay. have some stuff you can Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think mean, we uh, normally we always are saying that we have a six main factor is comfortable and washable, uh, durable and uh, uh, reliable and affordable and fashionable. It has to be common together. Okay. It has so, to go for everything like this. Okay. So I guess your company could be very busy in the future, right? And already yes, busy. Yes. But you could be even more and more busy because there will be so many different styles. Exactly. Everybody wants a different shirt. Yes. Nobody likes to have the same shirt as somebody else. That's right. So okay. you need to do millions of different products. Well, I think that's going to be a actually, challenge. Yeah, okay. Yes. I think the one day all the shirt must be smart. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the, our, our future goal. But we believe not just only us, but we try to just say we, we try to bring this kind of uh, concept and to looking for the real partner in the world. Okay. So so we are the first one. And we are very uh, focused and con uh, concentrate to do this kind of uh, research and uh, uh, make it really commercialized. So yeah, this is something we are doing. We don't want to do the, the super shirt for the Superman, but we want to do a very simple and comfortable, user-friendly shirt for everybody. For simple men. For simple, for everybody. For normal men. I'm sorry. For everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how about here? It's uh, integrated in the textile. How, can you could you think of a solution where you add it to any normal shirt? You can yeah. sure, 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 stick sure. it on. Yeah, sure. Does is that make it, sense, or is it better to? Uh, I mean, your whole technology is to merge it. How do you merge it with textile? Uh, I think you, you ask a very interesting question because for sure there are so many different ways to make a good shirt or clothes. So we would always pick the right way to integrate. So which means it would not necessary to be sold on or to be stick on or using a different process to, to, to fit it with the right clothes form. So there would be some standard ways to do it and uh, maybe sew, maybe stick, maybe yeah, there, there are, right now there are so many different ways, even as what you just mentioned, sew it on, so that you can print it. So the, all the new technology can be bringing, because that's already all in the, the nowadays, uh, the, the closing technology. You can print it? For example, this is printed you, electronics? You, you can see those three no, but like those three characters, yeah. right? It's printed. But that's not a sensor. It's not a sensor. Uh, not can you yet. print right? the sensor? Not, not, not yet today. Just say uh, we. Uh, yeah. I know now people are, is uh, starting for e printing, but we must know what is the feature, uh, the benefit for the e printing. Mm -hmm. Then we bring these kind of good features to into integrate yeah. my product. How about this uh, this part? Can you make this one flexible and printed the uh, sensor? We is hope that happen? happens soon. Yeah, right. Hope that yeah. happen, right? Right, because we've been talking to many component and material manufacturer yep. and try to let them know we need something soft. And, and the flexible battery, and flexible. Yes. Right. flexible battery, right. flexible energy harvesting, yeah. yes. flexible CPU. So that everything on your body that you feel comfortable. 
Yeah. We, we want that happen. So we're talking to everybody. Nice. Try to convince them. And this is going to be bigger than an iPhone, right? That's just what I'm saying. Because there are so many people close. wear clothes. Everybody. Yes. Yes. But not everybody needs an iPhone. Need a phone, yes. iPhone is just 20% <laughs> of, the, of the market, you know? But yep. the smart clothes, yep. everybody. Yep. Cool, so a lot of things will happen in the near future with your company, right? And people can already buy this from your customer brands, right? Yes. Right. Already have. Yeah, already have. Shipping big quantity or? Uh, actually just started. Okay, just say we we have to go, I think once the product is ready, we still have the, the other period. Uh, just we have to some real field testing and uh, marketing testing. So this is a one thing quite different from the regular, uh, you know, the textile. So but uh, we have to take this and uh, we think we want to make it accessible. We don't want to, to jump into just uh, you know, ship the ship itself. This is not the way we are going. We must be shipping it very comfortable and really reliable. Where is your company based? Taiwan, Taipei. Ta ta and how many people? Right now about 40 employees. 40? Yes. So, but it can quickly expand? If things go sure. fast, right? Yes. And if we need talent from everywhere. From everywhere. Yeah. All right. And uh, clothes designers. Yes. Fashion designers. Fashion designers. Designer. They can contact you now? Yes. They can all contact you say, I want to make my shirt smart, right? Yes. And you discuss? Yes. What is the MOQ? Uh, subject to uh, the fabric. Just like, like a regular uh, the, the pair of Discussion. MOQ. You need to buy many thousand? No, they not really. Start. Not really. Okay, but we we just say we try to make it real, uh, very uh, really commercialization. It's not just a special made it. Okay, it should be just very very easy to get it. Just like uh, you 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 are doing the business like a, a, a regular. Uh, What's the camera. price? Maybe. Price Maybe retail it. price. Okay. What is the retail price? Uh, the retail price, you know, we don't fix the retail price because we... Yeah. You know, customer we, decide, customer right? Decide. But it can be what? Maybe 99? Uh, maybe more? Uh, not for small brown. Probably for the shirts. Is the market price now is about 199 up, up to 99, 399 USD. Okay. So there's a one shirt with one dongle yeah. uh, with the apps. So that would be the current market price so far. Alright, cool.